episode of Beats and Booze. Beats and Booze. I am Vic. And today, we've got Crucial. It's crucial. We've got Ken. And we've got Fred. Some of you been trying to write rhymes for years, but we got this. Irritate my ear. This is probably take three, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun today. Big fun. Serious fun. Today, we're going to keep on talking about hip hop. Don't and stop. Hip hop. Keep on. We're in the mid 80s. We're going to continue about from the time that we left off in the last episode. Right. Yeah. Now we know what beats we're listening to. What about this booze? It's Catalina Top Scale. Oh, huh? a Catalina Rod Mixer is what it's called. <laughs> oh, okay. Easy for you to say. The Catalina Wine Mixer. How do you make it? I like it. it I looks, like it. It looks delicious. It's just tasty. Mm -hmm. Again, third take. I just saw that. Ah, yes. All right. So I think we kind of left off in the mid the mid '80s. How rap was starting become, to become way more popular than it had been in sure. the first iteration of it. Not being played on the radio stations and when it was. It was only really after hated. only after a certain period of time in the day. Radio suckers never play me. There were movies made about about hip hop culture. Joey, for God's sake, turn the turn the box off. You know the break dancing and and uh, oh, rapping. I remember breaking. What was uh uh Beat Street? Beat Street. Beat Street. Oh, Beat Street. You can't let the streets beat you. Uh, <laughs> I just remember the movie. Yeah, I love movies. We saw the first platinum rap album come out, and that was Houdini. Houdini. Vic, who is this guy? Then we saw MTV starting to play some of the, the rap okay. songs yeah. that had videos. Yo. 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 Uh, Run DMC did the collaboration with Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Uh, that collaboration uh, resulted in the very first rap tip, top 10 yep. on the Hot 100. And we started seeing rap being included on soundtracks that were not rap focused. Absolutely. Like Less Than Zero. Less Than Zero. Had a, had a track by uh, LL Cool J on it. Really? Styling, profiling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Now you remember. They figured it out, right? Yes, they did. By the time 1987 comes along, you wind up with LL Cool J's I'm bad. Oh. And, and Michael Jackson. I'm bad. So you tell me, which one of those guys is the bad one? Is it this guy <laughs> or is it this guy? <laughs> He'll lay down his jacket so he can walk over a puddle. He will. I need love. So then we, get, we start getting into uh, the, the, the next phase because when 1987 comes, there's a sea change. And you know what that sea change is? No. This is a journey into sound. Don't. Eric B. Don't. 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 Don Probably part of that original sea change. I'm listening. My man Rakim, in my opinion, is the best rapper ever. I agree with you there. Your piece of love. I don't care what you say. Me either. Man, sells it then. Rakim is number one. It's not up for me. I don't care what you say. I don't care about <laughs> none of them other ones. No, I can Everybody that's after him I is after him. him. I used to let the mic smoke. Now I slam it when I'm done and make sure it's broke. People are gonna have their own opinion. That's right, and that's and that's oh, cool. Yeah. You can have your opinion. I don't want to. Absolutely. Uh -huh. If I want your opinion, I'll just beat it out of you. Don't sweat the technique. Somebody else that I think is very, very important in rap was Chuck D from Public Enemy. Absolutely. Because if you listen to their first album, which came on before that, I'm cold getting busy while I'm shaking you down. And you get to, it's a, a, it takes, takes a, a nation of millions. millions to hold us back. Here it is. Bam. And you say God. Which, to me, is one of the best, best rap albums. albums. What's better than that? 
It's it's certainly in it's it's certainly up there. You know, everybody has opinions about what it what yeah, the, first, yeah. the best rap album is. Don't make me tell you again. And I like newer stuff, and I can put some newer stuff. Oh, in absolutely. For me too. Absolutely. But it is amazing how these little changes are happening, and you know, when you're going through them, yeah. you're not keeping track of the fact that oh my goodness, this is Run DMC and them guys are kind of old fashioned now, yep. and they were on top for a few years. A few years. Anyway. It's over now. So then you wind up with other tracks, you know, by Rob Bass and It Takes Two, you yeah. know. I wanna rock right now. Which, you know, lyrically is, is you know, it's not. I love this song. I'm Rob right Bass and I came to get down. I love it. Yeah, you know, when people judge that song because of the words. I right now. Because I'm the words. Right and I came to get hey, down. Hey, I'm not internationally, hey, no. Hey. But I know the rock my phone. Because I get stupid. I mean, I rage this. Stay away from me. It's be contagious. <laughs> Right. Um, yeah. I'm not nearly drunk enough to- Bartender! Beats and boom, watch out. There was another sea change that was coming right, right after that. after that. You are carrying my seed forth. N.W.A. N.W.A. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. You talk about gangster rap, and I mean, gangster rap never went out of style. My, 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 ain't never going out of style. <laughs> and, and honestly, it was always gangster rap. They just weren't using the profanity. I yeah. mean, because if you think about the message, the Absolutely. only difference in those songs is one has overt language and the other's more tamed. I have not tamed. So we're in 88, mm -hmm. 89, and now you've got, you've got gangster rap. And I have to say, I love it. Aww. You know, I, because I it was, it. it was, what was it? It was like, Black exploitation. Don't jive me. On vinyl. Jive, jive, jive me. It was the mean streets, right? Reporting to you from the mean streets of San Diego. Yeah, that's not that's not something that I would have pulled up at the family picnic. <laughs> but now you would hear it at a family picnic because <laughs> Grandma grew up with it. Beats and booze. Beats and booze. You know, also in 1988-89, you had, should have been the very first rap number one. It could have been in a world where good things happen. It came from Tone Loke. Let's do it. Oh, sure. Wild, wild Thing. Wild Thing. Wild Thing. Wild Thing. He had this video that was in black and white. She wanted to do the Wild Thing. That song just hit a nerve, and, and it just had a great beat. I felt it had a good beat also, and it was easy to dance to. It was using a... Jamie's crying. Okay. Da, 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 brown, down. That's Jamie's crying. And then a. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, by uh, Van Halen. Van Halen, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. How about that? Now, how about that? Ish? So now we're at the end of the, the, end of the 80s. The end and, of the 80s. And we started at the beginning of the, of the 80s, or, well, the, the end of the 70s. And now we're 10 years yeah. of hip hop. Are we in the same no spot? One. Because you're talking about N.W.A. There's one album that kind of flew under the radar, and to me, it's one of them great albums. In that same time, that same was D.O.C. I'm the diggy diggy doc, y'all. Pumping it, yes, y'all. Is it funky or not? Stop him in his tracks. Show him that I am ruthless. They used uh, uh, oh, Foster, Mr. Mina. Foster, Mr. Mina. Foster Silver. <laughs> I think that's a good place to leave off where we're, we've gone through all the 80s with these first few episodes. It's been fun. So, I, so that's all I got. You got anything else? Hey, man. Not 80s. No. All right. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks. You know? We do. You know? We know. We appreciate you guys. Uh, if you haven't, if you're still with us at this point, please hit that like button and hit the little notification bell yeah. so that you are made aware when we publish new episodes. Brand new. We've got, you know, TikTok, yeah. we've got Instagram, we got that, 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 that. That's not all that. I know. It is what it is. Do we have X now? Are we, we still a part of X? We do, but I don't really use it. Okay, well. 
<laughs> but it's there. Okay, there it is. So just yeah. yes. <laughs> well, it's not a bird it's anymore. It's not a bird anymore. Somebody <laughs> threw it. <X. laughs> anyway, see you guys next time. Beats and girls.